Once the story was told, everybody fell in love with it. Um, Absent-mindedly, I started leafing through it one afternoon, and I basically was glued for 48 hours. It's, it's a riveting tale. Well, I mean, you know, Brian's book, High, is, is, is one of those books that you read and you put down and you say, did this really happen? I mean, is this actually true? I, I mean, this has got to be fiction, right? He was America's most amazing smuggler. It was monstrous loads, I mean, bigger than we had ever seen before. The mastermind who landed 67 tons of marijuana. The fact that they really conceived themselves as, as pirates. Scoring 200 million right under the DEA's nose. It was like, oh my god, you know, they scammed us. While I was in prison, I just was building ideas in my mind of the next big thing that I was going to do, and that when I got out of here, I was going to get on with it in a much bigger and better way. It kept growing and growing. I take little bits of dope back to Newfoundland, and then I expanded to Toronto, to Montreal. They got into business that uh, is corrupting by its nature. I moved on up into Jamaica and started putting together larger pot deals, and it became more and more and more. Even though he went to an incredibly dark place, you understand, like, from one step to the other, how he got there. And really, it's a warning for all of us as, as what can start off as a sort of a nice idea can turn into a very, very dark place. On July 30th, 1991, I went and knocked on the door of Terminal Island Prison. The guy looked down from the tower and he said, what do you want? I said, I'm here to check in. <laughs> Look, all I can say about the book is you got to read it. There's, you, you can't believe it until you read it.